So in this video, what I'll be doing is telling you a story and hopefully you get to pick one or two things in terms of your online safety and also digital safety. Now let me tell you the story. This is actually a true life story. It happened, but I wouldn't want to tell you the names of the individuals involved. So I'll be referring to the two parties as Mr. A and Mr. B. So hopefully you get to enjoy the story. So typically in a country like Nigeria or perhaps anywhere, so some people see Fridays after work hours as a time to either go to the club, go to parties or go and see family or do so many things some even see it as a time to binge watch lots of movies which they must have missed during the week or whatever tv shows they have to catch up on so mr a contacted mr b that he really needed some movies and he needed to see movies that it's been a long time he has seen movies that he has been so worked up and really needed to see some movies so mr b told him he had some movies saved up in his flash drive when his hard drive notes mr b was from a different fintech company while mr a was from a different fintech company so mr b promised mr a that he was going to give him the hard drive or the flash drive for him, for him to go ahead and copy those movies and then enjoy those movies that he promised him that these were latest movies 2021 movies that he can go ahead and enjoy the movies during the weekend so Mr. A innocently said, okay, there's no problem. And then the time was set up for Mr. A to go ahead and collect the hard drive for Mr. B. Filled with the movies Mr. A was going to watch throughout the weekend. So Mr. A went ahead and collected the hard drive filled with lots and lots of folders of movies from Mr. B. But there was one thing Mr. A never knew and which was that Mr. B was trying to gather some information from Mr. A's fintech company and then he didn't know how to gather it. He couldn't obviously ask Mr. A because it was supposed to be a confidential information. So the best thing he could do was to go ahead and get the information by himself and even without permission he had to find a way to get the information from Mr. A who was spearheading the team working on the new product that the fintech company was releasing. So he sent him the movies in the flash drive. So one thing Mr. A did not know was that Mr. B had already embedded a particular malware or payload into that particular flash drive, into the folder, the movies folder. So he just put it there so that it wouldn't be easy to detect. So he segmented the movies as 2021 and 2020 movies. And then he told him that he does not need to copy it one by one unless it would take him a lot of time to copy the movies. That he should go ahead and copy all the movies directly into the system. And then do you know what? Mr. A agreed to this. Innocently went home with this hard drive and then did as Mr. B told him to do. He copied every single thing directly the way Mr. B told him to copy right into his system. And do you know what? His system really didn't have an antivirus as most people watching me now, even you watching me now might not really have an antivirus in your laptop, in your personal computer. Most people don't. Most people see it as, oh, it's stressful. Most people don't even really know the usefulness of an antivirus. So let me continue the story. So Mr. A went ahead and copied everything into his laptop, including the malware, including the payload. And the malware was well crafted that it could even bypass basic antivirus solutions, such as the Windows Defender that comes with any Windows PC. And then the malware was not a .exe file, which means you don't really need to install the malware before it works. All the malware needs to do is sit on the computer and then wait for an internet connection and then the person remotely will be able to control the system. So this malware sent by Mr. B was just supposed to give him access to the computer, to give him admin rights over to the computer and then which will help him to access anything that was on the computer remotely without the person knowing. So that was what the malware was supposed to do. And did he craft it? No, he didn't craft this malware. He got someone to help him craft it and someone to help him run the whole process of gaining access into Mr. A's computer. So the reason Mr. B was kind of confident that his plan was going to work 100% was because Mr. A was using his personal computer as his work computer. So basically everything he had related to work was also on this computer. His documents, his files, everything confidential was on this laptop. Everything he had been working on, everything the company had been working on, it has been on this computer because now everything has gone remotely because of the COVID-19 and everything. So post COVID-19, most people started working from home, most people started doing their jobs remotely. So everything was on his personal computer. So that was why Mr. B was really sure that he was going to get the info he wanted from Mr. A's computer. And then Mr. A went ahead, not knowing that the malware was in his computer, he went ahead and enjoyed the movies from the Friday night to Saturday night all through till Sunday afternoon when he remembered he had to do something on his computer. So on Sunday afternoon he had to do something related to work because he was going to report to work on a Monday as most people will usually do then other days could be working remotely. So he had to quickly touch up something relating to work on that Sunday afternoon and then he had to connect to the internet. He had not connected to the internet all through the weekend but when he connected to the internet that Sunday afternoon that is where the whole problem started. 
Mr. Bill was patiently waiting for him to connect to the internet all through the weekend, finally got the notification that he had connected to the internet through the person who originally crafted the malware, notified him that Mr. A had connected to the internet and then the malware was active that he could now run and access anything he wanted to access. So remember I told you that Mr. A was almost like a product manager who the fintech company had put in charge of launching a new product and then everything concerning the product. He was a product manager. So the product was not yet in the public. It was almost like in a beta stage, it was still undergoing internal tests. So nobody really knew about this project except Mr. B who was working on the product and then the higher higher ranking officials in that particular organization so mr b gained access into his computer was able to see the files was able to see every single thing that mr a and his fintech company had been working on so all mr b did was take the idea and then propose it as an idea to his own fintech company his own fintech company was obviously bigger in finances and everything than mr a's company and so they released the product before mr a's company could do so and then when Mr. A's company was quite surprised that they saw their exact idea being out in the public, in another fintech company, they were all distraught and then didn't know what to do. Even Mr. A himself was kind of surprised how the exact every single thing, basically like a photocopy of all the ideas, everything they have been working on was in Mr. B's organization. So Mr. A didn't know how that happened. His company, his organization was really angry and they didn't know how it happened. but. They had to question Mr. A because they knew Mr. A was in charge of the whole procedure and in charge of the whole process. So it was when they started doing investigations, they had to get security consultants to come and check what happened and how come the information got leaked. It was then that they noticed that Mr. A had gotten a malware on the system through a source. It was then it dawned on Mr. A that Mr. B was the culprit and, and that it was Mr. B who actually leaked this information and got the information from his laptop. So there you have it. A long story, right? So what lessons did we learn from this? About, should I say four or more lessons could be learned from this story or could be learned from this story. So the first lesson I want you to learn is that for those who are using their personal computers to also work for their organizations or for their offices, you need to be careful because so many things can go wrong with you just collecting or downloading files or folders or clicking on links so many things could go wrong just like mr a you could get yourself in a whole lot of trouble so what you should do is do not collect a flash drive from anybody and then insert it into your work pc or your personal computer without making sure it's coming from the safe source or without knowing the source which is coming from that brings us to our number two lesson you should have an antivirus solution in your laptop in your personal computer if you do not have it you're leaving yourself vulnerable to hacks and then to getting fished so you need to have an antivirus solution in your laptop yes most people have windows defender windows defender is good but it is not good enough because most people now craft malware and they craft viruses that could bypass windows defender ordinarily because they know windows defender is almost the same in most systems so they just craft it to bypass your windows defender so if you just have your windows defender it is not going to work for most of the viruses and most of the malware that are being crafted now so you will need to get an antivirus solution a working antivirus solution and then you might ask me can i use a free one which i just downloaded off the internet well the free one is okay it works but for example imagine you give um someone to edit your video for free you just tell the person please can you help me edit this video i just finished this video i would want you to help me edit it one the person might actually help you edit it if the person is your friend but it will take a longer time because the person would not see it as something he should rush and two, the person might not put all his effort into helping you edit the video to 100%. But now, compared it to pay the person actually to do the job, one, the person has a deadline which the person is supposed to meet. So the person hurriedly does it. And also, not just hurriedly doing it, the person makes sure he gives it 100% to make sure it delivers a good job for the money you paid. So you can see the difference between using a free antivirus solution and a paid antivirus solution. A free antivirus solution does not have all the features it does not have all the features enabled it does not give you 100 percent compared to a paid antivirus solution so there'll be a link in the description below for a good antivirus solution you can go ahead and use i use that one personally and it's good enough it is inexpensive it is not that expensive i think that around twenty thousand naira for a whole year that's a subscription for that particular antivirus solution you could use that particular one so for those in us or other countries there's also one for your country so I'm, I'm currently using about two antivirus solutions on my laptop so yeah you can see i'm that paranoid i use about two antivirus solutions in my system aside the normal windows defender 
on my PC. So I have two other ones. So you can go ahead and check the link in the description below for those antivirus. But take notes, they are affiliate links. So if you click on them, I get some commissions for those purchases but they are really good antivirus solution perhaps in another video i'm going to go ahead and review some antivirus you could use for your phones and for your laptops or whatever i'm going to help you i'm going to do a good review because i've used the whole lot and i've seen the differences the ones that are good or the ones that are just fairly okay so i'm going to do a review on that so you can agree with me that what happened to mr a could be called a tragedy because it could be worse than that actually it could have been a ransomware that could have encrypted all his files that's why there's need for backup you can watch the video in the card which i linked up below about the essence of having a backup i told my story of how i lost a client's file worth millions so you can you can watch the video right up there by clicking the card above so like i said that malware could have been a ransomware what could have been to corrupt all the files on the system it could be to monitor him and his webcam it could be to steal sensitive data which was what that particular malware was crafted to do so there could be a lot of reason why a malware or lots of things a malware could do on a system which is embedded in so you really need to be careful so i hope with this advice and with this story you've learned you've really learned about two major things if not anything you should know the essence of installing an antivirus solution on your laptop on your personal system and if possible have a work pc separate from your personal pc it just separates your two life it's just good to separate your two lives from one another one use for your personal stuff and one use for your office stuff is better so that you don't hear stories i just have a question for you i want you to comment below what do you think should be done to mr b or what do you think should have been done to mr b after mr a found out that in the end he was the one who jeopardized everything and then mr b was supposed to be his friend or his colleague not majorly his best friend or someone related to him so thank you for watching this video thank you for 500 subscribers if you are new to this channel do well to click on the subscribe button and also in the notification bell icon we talk on online safety and also digital safety then we expose the latest scams and tricks used by scammers in nigeria and all around the world so don't forget to give us a like just smash the like button on this remember your online safety is key